Hi, this is Jason. Welcome back. Um, this time I'll be showing you how to fix a P0446, which is the EVAP Vent System Performance Code. Um, I get a lot of farmers in here with that code, and this is the reason why. So, under your vehicle, this right here is your EVAP canister and your EVAP vent valve. This is a 2020 Chevy, uh, Chevy Silverado I'm working on um, but they're all pretty much similar. They have an evap canister and a vent valve. Now I recommend change both of them. Don't be cheap and just do the vent valve or just the canister. Do both of them please. Uh, these clips right here are push button clips. You push them in kind of twist and pull and they'll come right out. Push it in, twist, and pull. See, they come right out. After you get all these hoses off, there's a 13 millimeter bolt right here. You take that bolt out, the canister will slide right out. Uh, word of advice, over here on the vent valve, see we got a new vent valve right here. Um, I got a canister, brand new, and I got five eighths inch hose. Uh, let me get all this stuff out and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I got all the bolts out. I'll pull this EVAP canister out. See, it comes right out. It's uh, real heavy, dusty, dirty. The vent valve. Back here, there's a little tab that you could kind of pry out with your screwdriver. Uh, this locking clip right here, I use a little pick. There's a little red retaining clip in there that locks it in place push it back with my little pick right here I push the retainer back and then push the clip as it will come out now this vent valve what you want to do is it runs all the way back to the uh, where the gas uh, cap is and where it is where you fill uh, your gas up cut it off cut that completely off we're gonna remove this so I cut it off okay and also, if your vehicle is hard to fill, if your vehicle is hard to fill, uh, this will also help um, with that also. It's because it's having a restriction and it's not allowing the, the gas fumes to, uh, to escape in your gas tank. So, I'm going to install uh, the canister on this new vent valve. This new vent valve right here, what you're going to do is this one goes to the canister this one you are going to cut off cut this piece off right here uh, we're gonna cut this piece off and with this 5 8 hose I got we're gonna run this hose all the way up to the engine compartment instead of back to the gas tank uh, this will allow for so it don't get clogged back up with dirt Okay, so I got my EVAP canister put back in. Uh, just push these clips back on to lock into place. Uh, what I did with my hose, before you put the vent valve back on, is run it through the frame, hose clamp it to where I told you to cut off, and then you could put it back onto here and reclamp it back into your EVAP canister. Now this hose right here, we're gonna run along the whole frame of the truck and zip tie it down uh, all the way into the motor compartment. So as you can see, I just ran it along the frame right here, zip tied it where I could. Uh, ran along the frame all the way up into the motor compartment. Uh, once you get up here, just make sure it is not by the exhaust. If it gets by the exhaust, it'll of course melt, which won't be good. And also back here, when you do run it through, make sure you don't pinch that. Make sure to leave enough slack in there that it bends. Because if you pinch it, it will set a uh, uh, code again. Okay, now that I got my hose ran to the engine compartment, uh, I'm gonna find somewhere to zip tie it off. I'll probably just cut it right here and zip tie it to the frame. And I will, it comes with this filter. All that's in these filters is little tiny uh, foam pieces, you know, 
Um, that's the only thing catching the dirt and dust from going into there. Um, but yeah, cut this hose, put a clamp on it, insert it, and zip tie it to the frame. Okay, I got it zip tied to the frame right there. Uh, just go in, clear your code, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Like I said, this will take care of any P0446 code on any Chevy GM truck. Um, this one was a newer model. On the older models, it has a gas cap. Also, make sure your gas cap is seated. Um, GM also put out a bulletin about this code. That's why you need to run the hose all the way up into the engine compartment um, instead of back, back down by the gas cap. Um, thank you for watching this video. Loop the like button. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time.